Building in Webflow is a dream. Now let's build daily interaction number 14. Hey, what's up everyone? John with WebDev for you and welcome to the daily interaction series where every weekday we build a new interaction or animation in Webflow. Today we're going to create a scroll to section on click. Um, so here I have the example. So if I click on section two, we go to section two. If I click on section three, go to section three, four, five, back to three, and I can go to one. Uh, so this can be great for a one page scrolling website. Um, you can create your menu and link, uh, link it to different sections on your website. All right, looks good. So this is what we will be creating today. Uh, to view more daily interactions and premium content, visit webdevforyou.com. Also, be sure to subscribe below to receive a notification every time there is a new daily interaction. Okay, so here I have a blank Webflow project, and we'll start with the daily interaction class naming convention. So it's d the daily interaction number, so today is 14, and then the element. Uh, so every element on the site will have a d-14 in front of it and this is for cons consist consistency purposes and so that we know we're working with daily interaction number 14. Uh, so what we're going to do first we're going to build out the menu um, and then we're going to add the, di the different sections to the menu and then we'll link the menu items to the different sections. Um, so here the first thing I'll do is I'll add an element I'll add a nav bar, so I'll scroll down to uh, components. I'll select nav bar, and here we have the nav bar. Uh, so for this, I'll give it the class name d-14 nav bar. And I want this nav bar to be fixed at the top so, so that we can always see the, the menu items. Um, so to have it fixed at the top of the website, uh, what I can do is go down here and for position, I can set it to fixed and I can set it to top. So it spans uh, the top of the page. All right, so fixed and then top. All right, so we can have some scroll space to the site and that menu will always stay in place. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is add five different sections to the site. Uh, so to do that, I'll go to the navigator. I'll make sure I'm selected within the body. Um, I'll add an element. I'll add a section and I'll give the section the class name d-14 section-1 and for this I'll give it a height of 100 VH so it spans the full height of the viewport and it will be the full width as well. Then I'll scroll down to background I'll give it a background color of black and there we have our first section. Um, we'll We'll uh, link the menu items after we've added all the sections, so I'll just leave the menu items like this. Um, so let's go back into the body. I'll add another section, so add element, add section, give this a class name, d-14, uh, section two. Okay, so this is the second section, again, a height of 100 VH, and a background, we'll do this magenta color, and yeah, I think that's all we have to do there. Yeah, so we have section two, um, so you notice that the menu stays fixed and I can scroll through the site and looks good. So we'll add another section, I'll select the body. Um, I'll add a section, give it the class name D-14, section three, set the height to 100 VH. And I'll give it the background color of this lighter uh, pink here or plum. And we'll add two more sections. So I'll click on the body, add element, add a section, D-14, section four. Uh, height of 100 VH and we'll give it another color here uh, we'll do this purple color and we'll do one more section and this will be D-14 section 5 and um, yeah set it to 100 VH for the height and <clears throat> for the background color I'll end it with black so if I preview we have five different sections. So the first one, we have a few different colors and then we end with black. Okay, so what I wanna do for each of these sections is give it an ID so that we can link out the menu items to each section. So to give a section an ID, we wanna select it, 
Then right up here uh, where it says element settings, it's this gear icon. We want to click on it and here we can give it an ID. So by giving it an ID, we can later link out the menu items to the section so it scrolls to the section. So I'll give it an ID of section one for the first section. Scroll down to section two, give it an ID of section dash two. Scroll down to the third section, give it an ID of section dash three. The fourth section, give it an ID of section dash four. And the fifth section, I'll give it an ID of section dash five. Okay, so now I can uh, link out, yeah, excuse me, link out the menu items to the sections because they all have an ID. So what I'm gonna do here is delete the uh, second and third menu item because I wanna style this first nav link and add some styling to the text. So I'll select it here. I'll give it the class name D-14 nav link and I'll just give it some styling in the typography. So I'll say circular bold, I'll give it a font weight of bold and set the color to black. And we'll leave the font size, maybe add a little bit of fonts. No, we'll leave it at 14. That looks good um, and perfect. So now I can hit Command-C to copy, then Command-V to paste, or let me try this here. Uh, yeah, Command-C to copy, and then paste until I have five nav links. And I'll double click in, inside of each one, say section one, double click, say section two, the third one, double click, say section three, the fourth one, I'll say section four, and the fifth one, I'll say section five. Okay, so now I can link out, because the, these are nav links or link blocks, I can link them out to um, to here. If I go to element settings, yeah, so here I have a nav link selected and I'll go to element settings. So I can link out to a URL, a page, a page section, email, telephone number, or a file. So I wanna link it to a page section. So I'll select it here. And then here for section, we can choose a page section. So notice we have these IDs that we added to each section. So we have section one, section two, three, four, and five. Um, and these show up because, yeah, we added that ID to each section. Also for section one, I'll select section one. I'll go to section two, select page section, select section two, section three, select page section, select section three, uh, page section, section four. I'll select five, page section and section five. And that's it. That's how we link uh, these uh, menu items to the different sections on the page. So first we added the ID and then we linked the menu items to those different IDs. So I'll preview, click on section two. There we go, section three, section four, and section five. Perfect. Um, so we can style this menu a bit. So I can select section one. I can go into styles and for the current color, I can change the color because we're on section one, it's the current section. So it's showing us the current state of the nav link. So I can go into the current and I can change the color to let's say uh, this blue color here. And I can change the nav link background. So I can go into the, um, to the nav bar. I can change the background to let's say something like, um, we'll do this lighter color. Oh wait, no, that changes the text. So let me undo that. We wanna go into the background and I'll select this lighter color here. And yeah, so we can change the different colors for the, the menu items. We can also change the hover state, so I can select it here. I can go into the state, select hover, and I can select the, or actually I want to select one of these that's not on the current. I'll select hover, then I'll go to the typography and change it to, let's say this magenta color, or yeah, maybe this purple color here. All right, so yeah, we can change the, you know, the different states for the nav link. I just wanted to cover that really quick because the first part only took a few minutes. So you can play with the different states in the, in the nav bar to have a different color and to style it a bit. Or I can do something like this, select the nav bar. We'll do, um, yeah, let's do black for the background and for the text, we'll change it to uh, white. Okay, something like that. All right. Yeah, so yeah, it's really customizable. Webflow lets you customize uh, pretty much anything on the website. Um, so yeah, that's it for daily interaction number 14, creating uh, a kind of a one page scrolling website. So first we added, we created the sections 
we added the ID to each section, and then we linked out the, the menu items to the different section sections by selecting page section and assigning it the ID that we applied to the section. All right, looks good. So that is it for daily interaction number 14. Um, here, this menu with the dot, we're gonna go over that in tomorrow's daily interaction. So creating kind of this menu item animation on hover. Um, so it's just a nice little slick animation with the dot appearing on each section. All right, or each menu item. All right, looks good. So that's it for this video, uh, video tutorial. Uh, to view more daily interactions and premium content, visit webdevforyou.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next daily interaction.